We're at the Nutter Center here on the campus of Wright State University, our second Division III state semifinal matchup. This one is the Meadowbrook Colts, and they are playing the Coldwater Cavaliers. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside Mr. John Dornick. John, let's look at Coldwater first of all. 24-4. and They were co-champions in the MAC with an 8-1 record on a 12-game win streak. And, and they really got, they got Riley Rissmiller back playing some after the injury that she had from her feet earlier in the year. And Coldwater's on a roll right now. Uh, Coldwater is on a roll. That 12-match winning streak there. Um, you get a 6-5 uh, opposite back. So, uh, you know, I always told people, be a great coach, but if you had 6'5", 6 6'4", 6 6 across the front, it made you an even better coach. So the addition of her back, glad to see her back playing well, and uh, that helps the Coldwater team out. They've also got a couple of nice players to uh, Spencer Etzler, who has just been a gym rat as a little kid. Mom and dad both been coaches, so she's been hanging around passing volleyballs for her whole life. Um, Jenna Lugers, another good setter for uh, cold water so they're uh, playing well right now coming into the tournament that's when you want to be playing well uh haven't seen much of the meadowbrook colts but uh that 25 and 2 record you can't take anything away from them you know you've got to win 25 you've got to win somehow and so we'll see once they match up with uh, the northwest ohio mighty mac league how uh, the muskegon uh, league uh, pertains to that and it holds up. So. Well, let's talk about the, the Meadowbrook Colts for just a moment. They are 25 and 2. They were 16 and 0 in the conference as you just met, mentioned on a 23 23 match win streak, but John, you know, this is their first time in the state tournament. And that that says something. You know, Coldwater's been here multiple times either as players or as fans or as, as kids just watching. That might well be an advantage for Coldwater. They will see how Meadowbrook can handle that. Yeah, we, we saw in that first match what playing on emotion will do for you. It get, gets you through maybe one set, but uh, then you come back down to earth. So uh, we'll see how uh, the Colts end up coming playing out here. They played in the Muscagum Valley League in the southwest, or southeast, excuse me. Um, so we'll see how uh, everything matches up once the ball is tossed up. One thing about Meadowbrook, they do have an all-Ohio player. That would be a first-teamer in Cami Black. She is a 5'9 senior. She has 350 kills on the season, and then she will have to be their leader today. Uh, all of a sudden, you can lead by example. So uh, she'll come out and start playing well right away. That will drag the team along with them for a while. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or in Van Wert. You can also visit them online at loudix.com. The winner, they get to match up on Saturday at 1 o'clock. And uh, we'll have that, that uh, match uh, for you earlier today and will be replayed often throughout the next few days here on WOSN. We have Meadowbrook, we have Coldwater coming up in just a moment. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball, WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at the campus of Wright State University. The number four ranked Coldwater Cavaliers and the number seven ranked Meadowbrook Colts. Meadowbrook in the brown uniforms with uh, orange shorts today and orange trim. Coldwater's in their black uniforms with orange trim as well. And liberos for both teams will be wearing white today. Looking for stars? Look for General Ligers who wears number 10 for Coldwater and Spencer Etzler who wears 13 for the Cavaliers. And Camden Black, or Cammy Black as she is known, wears number seven for the Meadowbrook Colts. And the first kill of the match will go to Megan DeVillis. Looks like their setter set the ball really quick that time, so hopefully if Meadowbrook runs that quick offense, that might mean a little trouble for Coldwater. The setter is Ella Jeffries, and she is an honorable mention All-Ohio player. And right back at you on the kill by Jenna Ligers. Well, what do we got? Somebody, to, oh, it hit the, hit the antenna going across, John. Blocked off the antenna, yes. Good All right. Call. So it is 2-0 Meadowbrook early. Here's the set. This will be tipped by Spencer Etzler. And then there's number seven, our All-Ohio player, Kenny Black. And Meadowbrook takes a quick 3-0 lead. Meadowbrook is on a 23-match win streak. Their losses came back on August 22nd to Bishop Watterson. 
and Lake Catholic. And there's a kill. That, that was Ligers. First kill for her. This will be Spencer Etzler to serve. She has 74 aces on the season. That's blocked. Good block by Madison Wendell. That got inside the antenna. Here's Wendell again. And a point for Madison Wendell. It's 3-2. to two. Tammy Black did a nice job just getting that ball back over the set outside of her head. She'd already committed to the spike, and she still got it back over. Here's Etzler again. There's Black. That shot's blocked. Wendell tips, but Black gets to that one. And they push it to the back row. Good job, Coldwater keeping it alive. And again, they go to Black. And this time it rolls across the tape for a point. You got an all-Ohio player. You may, might as well go to her. She's been set multiple times already. Here's the libero, Miley Arnold. She's a senior. Set by Kanapke, and then Wendell right down the line for Madison. Wow. Madison Wendell Jr. playing well. Second team all-conference in the MAC this year. 5'11 junior with 225 kills. The service will be by Kanapke. Oh, and it goes across the net and falls in. 5-3 Colts. We've seen that little behind the head set a lot of times. Here's Ella Jeffries, 5'6 senior setter. 856 assists for her in their 82 sets. Wendell. And black again. And pushed for a point by Morgan Blassengame. 5-4. Coach Etzler in her seventh year with the Coldwater Cavaliers. 143 wins and 36 losses. Riss Miller back in for, for Coldwater. Jenna Lugers will take over set. And hit it out of bounds that time. Did Black. They're tied at five. That was a sweet play. Cammy Black came behind the setter there quickly and just hit it a little bit out of bounds. Kelly Zender, 13th year at Meadowbrook, 241 wins and 85 losses. And that goes across the tape. It's played by the libero, Arnold. And that kill out of the middle by blasting game off of Jenna Liger's set. 6-5, Coldwater. Get that pass to the net, close to the net. That setter can do uh, three things. Most of them good. This is Ligers to serve. Just bumped over that time by Sitchna. Wendell. Madison Wendell having a good opening set. It's 7-5, Coldwater. Coldwater starting to get out of the sea legs and getting their feet under them, so maybe we'll see a match here now. Her third kill. And on a good serve by Ligers, it's 8-5. Good crowd here as we've had all day today. Meadowbrook right across from us got a nice crowd. Or that's Coldwater. That's Coldwater. Yeah, Meadowbrook's behind us. A lot yeah. of noisy young football players. Ace, chalk it up again. It's 9-5. Six run. consecutive yeah, points. Is. That is correct. Meadowbrook with a timeout, We're looking at six cold water points in a row. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. It's season 18 of the Sports Report, Friday night's football coverage, and in not too distant future will be basketball coverage as well, a couple weeks from this Friday. Liger serves. Good play by the libero, Schreyer. 
And then that kill goes to Rissmiller. Does it stay in? Yep, I was looking yes, for the official's call. It did. Riley Rissmiller. You know, we talked last uh, match about the left-hander being as your opposite. Well, if you got an opposite that's 6'5", that helps out a lot also. Injured a good portion of the year. Glad to see Riley back on the floor. Black has to roll it over that time. Here's the set by Ligers, and Rissmiller hits it again. This time it goes long. That ends a seven-point run by Coldwater. Here's Kenny Black to serve. 36 aces for her this year. Ligers will set Wendell. Here's Wendell again. And the Cavaliers keep it alive. They free ball to the back row. Set. Ligers keeps that one alive. And then Wendell hits. That was Launder. And Blasting Game pushes it over. Long point. Both these teams are keeping the ball in play. Etzler got that one. There's the libero that time, Arnold. Joust at the net, and that will go the way of the Meadowbrook as Kendall Cannon gets a point. Kendall got up there against the double block and still hit it off of the hands. 10 7. There's Liger set. Chris Miller hits. Arnold got to that one. That was blocked by Wendell. And then the kill will go to Kelly Launder. Very impressed with Meadowbrook's defense so far, Mark. They've been getting after everything, getting a lot of touches at the net, so that uh, ends up with good things happening. 10-8, once again, serviced by Cammy Black. Ligers, and what do we got? Center line violation. Coldwater. 10 9. Down five a moment ago. Meadowbrook trying to even it up. And that one was in. Cross court shot, Madison Wendell. That's a good shot into the deep corner here. 11 9. This will be the 5 11 juniors service. 57 aces for Madison on the season. Oh, good kill by Taylor Stitzna. That set was right where she wanted it. Oh, that's, I tell you what, you just kind of walk into that point. Kendall Cannon. Schreyer plays that one. This will be Etzler. Back set. Blocked by Etzler. Blasting game. Good play by Jeffries. Keep it alive. Blasting game again. And right down the line and in goes Carly Launder. Wow. We're tied at 11. Good swing by Carly. Carly Launder looked a little undersized on the outside, but she put that ball away in a hurry. And service is out. 12-11. Six out of the last seven points have gone the way of Meadowbrook. Blasting game will serve. Good serve. Just attempted to free ball it over was DeVillis, but she missed. It's one of those who tried to be too perfect, didn't it, John? Yeah, yeah, she was trying to get cute with everything there instead of just putting it down. Blasting game serves again. That ball was blocked, but it was blocked out of bounds by Kara Clooney. 13-12 with Meadowbrook serving. Five ten Taylor Sitchna serves. That's a great serve. Etzler, that's blocked. And not able to keep it alive. Etzler's gonna get a point. It's 14-12. I think that ball might have been out, but uh, Miley Arnold here made a great effort to get touch on the ball and 
Just couldn't keep it back in play. Mia Kanapke will enter and serve and then set from the back row. Both setters are wearing number four right now. Clooney tipped it. Oh, good play by Blasting Game. Ball was past her. Etzler hits it and got it in. Good cold water point. Taylor Etzler will make a good play on that ball running in. It wasn't the best set, but it was just trying to kept in play, and she put it where they're not. Set. Blocked. Etzler was there that time, as was Clooney. Let's see who this one goes to. Back set Ligers, and she gets a point. 16-12, Cavaliers. I think Jenna Ligers is a good sixth position player here when she's in the front. She's a great hitter and in the back row as a setter. Third team All-Ohio player. Clooney went up to get it and kind of missed time to blast the game. Hits it a little bit long. 16-13, Cavaliers over the Colts. Here is Carly Launder to serve. She they got Cammie Black in the front row, so that should help uh, the Meadowbrook Colts. His blasting game. And you're right, there goes Carly Black, and what happened? Looking for a touch, what do we I got? I think it was off the top of the net yeah. and out of bounds. Gets a really good call, John. I don't think anybody contacted it. No. I like the officiating, though, looking at everybody on the court, line judges, and yard two. Gather all make... your information before you make the call. There's Black with a kill. They moved Black a little farther inside that time instead of more on the nines outside, moved her inside more like a six or seven. Third kill for Cammy Black in our opening set. Seems like more than that looking at the scoreboard though. Kanapke sets and going through the block that time for a kill. High hands off of the attack, good point for Coldwater. Madison Wendell having a nice opening set. 18-14. No one. Kanapke. Oh, a little long. 18-15. There's the setter, Ella Jeffries, to serve. 5-6 senior. And Wendell hit that one in. Scoreboard seems to be hitting the corners tonight here a little bit in the first set, Mark. Yeah, they are. There's Liger's serve. And she chucks up an ace. 2015 Coldwater opening set. And yet another timeout by Meadowbrook. Coldwater starting to get into the rhythm of things here in this match. That they are looking at the scoreboard. We've got Wendell for, for two kills. It seems like the again that more than that. I'm not sure the scoreboard's getting them marked up as accurately as we would think. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. Well, Meadowbrook has burned two timeouts. They got back in it with the first one. Let's see what happens with the second one does for them. Starts off with a good pass right away. It does seem like uh, they do the majority of their offense when Cammie Black is in the front row and they struggle a little bit when she's not. She is uh, currently a front row player, correct? Yes. Look at the lineup here. I'm looking at the setter, yeah. the Libro, and uh, number three is the back row there here. Here's Although Ligers. Good. Hard to determine sometimes. <laughs> Here's Ligers to serve. And that goes off the libero, Miley Arnold. Ace. 21-15 coming out of the timeout. Another good serve, and another ace. Wow. That's one way to get yourself back in the match. 
Then the Ligers had 39 aces in their first 28 matches today, and she's on fire with her service right now. Black sets. Let's see how Coldwater uses this. They're going to go to Wendell, and she hits it through a blocker, and it falls on Meadowbrook's side. That will be a point Coldwater. 23-15 as Liger serves. She served four consecutive points. Boy, Coldwater sure stepped it up a notch here. Skimmed off the top of the net. Hit to the back row that time by Cannon. Here's Wendell. And Black hit it out. 24-15. Coldwater scored six consecutive points, looking for number seven to close out set one. Quite a run. Here's Ligers. And Black hits it off a block to stave things off for at least a moment. It's 24-16. And now you need a point to go to your All-Ohio uh, hitter. And John, she is now rotated to the back row. She's the server. Nearly an ace. Good diving play by Schreyer. Then free balled over. Back set and a point. That went to Taylor uh, Sitchna. Very nice set by Ella Jeffries. Didn't give it away, set the ball behind her, and put the ball down. Meadowbrook serves again. Etzler played that. And blasting game hits. They keep it going. Play by Launder. And then blasting game out of the middle for a wow. first point. That point will end the set number one. It's Coldwater 25. It's Meadowbrook 17. Second set coming up. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is provided by Lavix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van Wert. You can also go online at loudix.com. Opening set, Coldwater stats, John. Hey, we had a good match here. Uh, Meadowbrook started off playing well, but Coldwater came back to win that. They outkilled those 15 to 13. Um, Meadowbrook had a few more errors, four and three on the attacking side. Um, assists, of course, Coldwater had 15, they're 12 there. Um, the reception errors, though, for serves, um, Meadowbrook had five. Coldwater had zero. So uh, there again, the name of the game is eliminate the errors and you'll stay in the contest. Madison Wendell, seven kills, four kills. Cammie Black, those lead each team as we go to set two, and Meadowbrook will serve. Ligers hit that one. And here's Cammie Black, and... Got a Coldwater player in the net. Sorry, can't help you out on that yeah. partner. The line judge is right in my way uh, of the I was R2. looking for a number. I know he put the fist up, meaning it was a, a double-digit number, but I don't know who it was for sure. Oh, how about the good uh -huh. play, keeping it alive. Good job by Kanapke, keeping it alive. Here's Etzler going to run it down. And it's pushed back by Blasting Game. And that off a blocker, that'll be a point for Megan DeVillis. Meadowbrook starting off the second set just like they did the first. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. That is correct. They scored the first three points in the opening set, and they have two right here. Etzler just pushes it over. There's the setter, pushes it, and she got it in. Nice job by Ella Jeffries. Push to the back row, it's 3-0, Colts. A good serve. Ligers hits it to us. Off the block by Miley Arnold. <laughs> you know, I wondered why nobody chose this media spot when we came in here this yeah, morning. Yeah, it ended up being target zone down here. It's okay. It'd be a part of the match. I talked to our friend from WCSM, said you got to get here early. Yeah. There's an ace that will go to Spencer Etzler. It's 3-2, Colts. Spencer leads Coldwater in aces, and she had a couple in the first set, starting off in the second set with another one. She had 74 in their opening 28 matches. 91 sets the Cavaliers have played this year. Their last loss 
It was on September 27th to Salina. And Black gets a score. We did that match in Salina, Mark. That was a great match. It was, do. yep. Salina winning the Western Buckeye League again two years in a row with 9-0 conference records. That serve is short, 4-3. If you believe in deja vu, view all over again, Meadowbrook will score and it'll be 5 3 because that's what it was in the first set. <laughs> Here's a service this time by Kanapke. Kara will serve. And she served along. I'm right on. Now, again, if we play uh, what happened in the opening set, the next five points are going to go the way of the Cavaliers. I'm going to say that's probably not going to happen. Could you give me the numbers for the lotto? Well, tonight, it's Mark? too late now. Somebody already won. Okay. Blasting game will tip out of the middle. And then Black hits to Schreyer. There's Wendell. Popped up in the air, and Black is able to run it down. It'll be played over by Cannon. Blasting game off a of blocker. Good save up there in the front row. And Wendell goes through a block. And what do we got? Four hits. That's trusting your partner there, yes, Mark. Yes, he was. The R2, uh, give him a little information. And if you trust your partner, you'll take it. That's Jim Hammer. Our R1 today is Mike Chandler. Ligers. And Essler just pushes it to the back. Black hits it. It's blocked out of bounds. 7-3, Meadowbrook. Good signal by our uh, LJ1 there, giving an out call instead of a touch. Blasting game hits, and she missed that time. It's 8-3, Meadowbrook. Coldwater's having some unforced errors here now. They've got to clean up. And Nikki Etzler decides it's time for a timeout in this set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Out of town or can't get WSN? WSN is now streaming 24-7 online on Roku or Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. A $100 donation allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. Meadowbrook, John, they're on a nice roll right here. They've scored four in a row and five out of the last six points. Uh, it's, uh, coming out of that timeout, we'll see how Coldwater reacts to the, the push that Meadowbrook's put on here. Of course, part of that is the fact that uh, Cami Arnold, or Cami uh, Black is in the front row, and this will be the last rotation. She's in the front row. And that will be a cold water point on the kill by Liger. This game's not as hard as we try to make it, Mark, here. Pass the ball up, set the ball up, put the ball down on the floor. 8-4. And Liger moves back to serve. Good serve from her. And Wendell gets a free ball. And says, thank you very much, and buries it in the floor. <laughs> And happy birthday, Merry Christmas, uh, and whatever you, you want to add in there. <laughs> Eight five. Another good serve. That was. There's Liger set. Blasting game. Hits it right the ball, right to Jeffries. There's Liger set again. This will go to Wendell. That's blocked. Etzler keeps it up in the air. Rissmiller hits and gets a point. There you go. Riley Rissmiller makes it 8-6. It's a great job by Mia Kanapke spreading the ball around there. She went middle, left side, right side for the point. So. Here's Liger serve. It is 9-6 now, Meadowbrook from the southeastern part of Ohio. And there's an ace. Chalk that one up to Cammy Black.
Liger's back sets, but she'll get called for illegal contact. 11-6. Ace, Black with another one. There was zero spin on that ball, John. Wow. You know, people don't realize when there's zero spin on that ball how that knuckle's going over. Here's Liger set again, and blasting game. Scores. Cavaliers down by five as Madison Wendell will head to service. Kill attempt was by Sitchna. Here's Etzler. And her shot is blocked. Is blocked. Did it stay in bounds? Yes, it did. It did. 13 yeah. 7. I was looking for a line judge and had people in my way and couldn't find him. Put that in your notes. We got to get here a little <laughs> earlier next year. You know, actually, I kind of like this viewpoint. It's better than sometimes than being right there behind the net as blasting game scores. Yeah. You get too close to that center line, and so it's hard to see uh, what goes on at the net. So I don't mind being down here in the corner a bit. Every, every, I guess every pot, spot's got a good place and a bad place. Here's blasting game serve. Nice Our kill swing. attempt was by DeVillis. And then Clooney tried to hit it over and missed. Didn't sound like she even made good contact with that uh, ball, Mark, so she must be a missed hit. Right Agreed. Sitchna. Nine for Coldwater, 14 for Meadowbrook. Here comes uh, Myla Norman in. She will play in the back row for Taylor Sitchna. Mia Knapp comes in, so we'll change setters for Coldwater. Service error, 15-9. It's Mia Kanapke who served that ball. Here's Kelly Londa to serve. That was a great serve. 16-9. Oh, wait, we got a touch. My bad. I should have done what the official did and scanned all the, uh, get all the information I could before I made a call. Black tips it, and it falls back on her side of the net. It will be a cold water point. It's amazing how many points you get off just good blocking technique. 15-11. Black gets a block, comes right back at her. That was Clooney yet. Did that work? Boy, oh boy. There we go, there's two in a row off the block points, so we don't even have to use our offense, we'll just play defense. Coldwater has been trailed as much as by six in this set, and that will be short, and it will be a 16-12 lead, Meadowbrook. There's a net there. There's a net there. Here's the libero, Miley Arnold to serve. Set Kanapke and hit long by Wendell. 17-12. Our opening match today went four sets. That was a New Bremen victory. Our second one went four. That was a victory by Lake Catholic. So good play that time by Mila Norman. And then the ball is hit long. It's amazing the difference in the technique they're teaching now with those one arms just getting out there that balls never were gotten to before until now they just keep them in play. Just don't let the ball hit the wood. That's exactly right. Coldwater struggled a bit with the serve this set. Here's Ella Jeffries. We keep talking risk reward. I think we're on the risk side on the Coldwater team right now. Kanapke sets and 
Lasting can hit that one a little bit long. 1913, and we're going to take a cold water timeout. Cavaliers trail by six in set two. You're watching high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. Check out our website at WSN.TV for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Our Loudix Jewelry scoreboard shows that the Meadowbrook Colts have 19, the Coldwater Cavaliers have a 13. Here's old Jeffries to serve. Blasting game will hit off a blocker that time. That point will go to Coldwater. 19-14. Morgan's sixth is kill if the scoreboard is accurate today. And that ball is hit long on the back end uh, by Kendall Cannon. The timeout has succeeded at least momentarily for Coldwater. They scored a couple of points. And long serve again. I think both teams are a little sloppy right now, Mark. We've got to try to get back into the swing of things here. A little continuity going. It does have that feel to it, doesn't it? As Cammy Black serves. Schrader played the first ball. And blasting game. That was not a sloppy play. No. Morgan blasting game makes it a four-point lead again. This time, Madison Wendell will serve. Morgan blasting game only being a sophomore. She's got a few more years to play. Ball banged to the back row. We got double contact. Yeah, that's yeah. That was uh, well illegal lift, I guess. Call it whatever you want. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. It was uh, certainly was not legal. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Three-point lead. Back set. And block. Oh. Etzler blocked that one. Nice block by Taylor Etzler there. Another one of those gym rats, Mark, that hangs, been around the gym all her life. This time, Meadowbrook takes timeout. This will be their first timeout here in set number two. What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. And you can find it online at WTLW.com. John, if anybody missed our opening set, our opening match today in this Division Three semifinal, Diane Place is retiring. She is. She served uh, the Ohio uh, women's volleyball, girls volleyball, and I say that now because now we have boys volleyball as a, a legitimate high school sport, but Diane has put a lot of time and effort into this, and I'd like to wish her nothing but the best. Director of officiating, correct? And, yes. Uh, responsible for that video that comes out every year, and uh, training officials and so on. We wish her the very best. We appreciate the what she did for volleyball across the state of Ohio as Wendell serves with her team down two. Back set, kill. That one will go to Kendall Cannon. So they score coming out of their timeout. Very nice set. They ran their offense. That was a good timeout by Coach Kelly Zender. Here's Cannon to serve and the overpass. Chris Miller's able to play that. And then Etzler hits it. And then Blasting Game hits it. And then Etzler again, and it's out. <laughs> oh. Taylor Etzler got a little uh, carried away there and just pushed it out of bounds a little bit. Nice effort, though. Spencer Etzler's going to watch the tape of this game and go, oh, how did I miss that? Because that's one. There's Blasting Game with a kill. Morgan Blasting Game's had quite a few kills that have yeah, been really has. good. The scoreboard says she has seven, but she has every bit of that. And now she gets to serve. And 
through a blocker. That point will go to Megan DeVillis. Good time getting your hands on the ball. So here's Meadowbrook, two points away from evening this up at one set apiece. And they were sent Taylor Sitchna to serve. Good service from her. And they can't run it down. Set point coming up. Meadowbrook fans behind us are pretty happy. One thing you don't want is your big girl taking the contact on the second ball. Set. Etzler, Spencer rolls it over and gets a point right in the middle of the floor. Wow, the old campfire shot there right in the middle of the campfire ring. Chris Miller will check out. Mia Kanapke will serve and then set from the back row. Meadowbrook needs a single point. To be Etzler, Spencer rolls it over and she gets a point out of it. 24-21. Just amazing, just a little touch on the ball at the net and keeps it in play. Keeps the ball up. Set. Liger's got to it. Etzler just free balls it. Overpass. Here's Coldwater back set to Etzler, and that time it's played by Norman. And then Block, but not on the correct side of the net. Carly Launder hit that one, and Meadowbrook will take this set, 25-21. Set three coming up after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center here at Wright State University. Our scoreboard is provided by Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. The Coldwater Cavaliers won the opening set 25-17. Meadowbrook comes back and wins set two 25-21 and we're tied at two. Any quick stat notes, John? We got our stats a little late. Yeah, we got our stats a little late, Mark. I see uh, they're starting to even up a little bit. What I noticed more about anything else is Meadowbrook eliminated the airs. It's amazing how many if you airs you eliminate, how many points you save. So uh, good job by uh, Meadowbrook on that time. One thing I did notice is uh, their coach, uh, Kelly Zender, is a very positive young lady. She's, uh, I don't know how long she's been here. You said 12 years? So this is year number 13, yeah. Okay, so she's very good with these young ladies, and there's one thing you can't do is get down on them when the, when the play goes bad. One thing I noticed that in the match, Coldwater has missed seven serves in the opening two sets. Most of those were in set two. We're in set three here as Spencer Etzler hits. Clooney keeps it alive, and Etzler will get to play this ball. Coldwater's blockers are doing a nice job getting hands on the ball. That kill will go to Kelly, Carly Launder. Meadowbrook scores first, as they have in each of the first two sets. Here's Carly Launder. And we're tied at one. Oh, that's the closest Coldwater's been to start a set off for a while. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Opening two sets, the first three points went to Meadowbrook. Here's that sort of serve. And a good play. Huh? That's a they good kept pancake. it alive. Yes, how about that play? That was that sort of got to that one. That was Black hit that. And blasting game free balls it over. There's your setter trying to make a play. Jeffries, Clooney tips it to the back row. And then, touch touch, the yeah, I thought yes. it was. Ball was touched at the net by Coldwater, hence the point goes to Meadowbrook. And that looked odd. That wasn't a legit sub. I wonder, well. And what do we got? Illegal contact? We do. 
That sub just looked really odd, John. I'm not so sure we didn't get away with something there uh, on the previous serve. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention yeah. to Coach Etzler down there on the other end to see what she had. All of a sudden, there's another long serve. So it'll be 3-2 Meadowbrook. The libero was serving, and I have a feeling that somebody wasn't supposed to be on the floor because they came jetting out there after that first serve, did Kendall Cannon. Block. And out of bounds, the point will go to Meadowbrook. 4-2. Jeffrey serves. Knapp can set Wendell that time. This will be Black. And Candy Black just handed it off to Spencer Etzler. She's got another one of those swings. Mark very quick, draws her arm back, and like a bow, just lets it loose. 5-2, Colts. Wendell runs a long way to get that back set. And off the block, you get another point for Taylor Sitchna. Four consecutive points now for Meadowbrook. That's a formidable front row when you've got Cami Black on the left side and Taylor Sitchna on the outside. Set. That's Sitchna, but it's blocked and then goes out of bounds. It will be a cold water point. Came right back at Miss Sitchna, and uh, when she hit it, it came went outside of the net antenna. Here's Jenna Ligers to serve. And Jenna racks up an ace. Cammy gets it uh, to the Schreyer. And that's kind of an odd play. The kill goes to Taylor Sitchna. Taylor's really picking up the pace here in this match. Or this set, I mean. Cammy Black will serve again. A lighter set, the blasting game tip, and that gets a point for Morgan. She is having a really nice ball game here as a sophomore in the state tournament. 5'11. Sophomore, sophomore with a big arm, and then she just took a little off that one. Second team MAC player this year. Let's go. Bang, bang. And Schreyer is unable to play the ball after it's tipped at the net. 8 5. Here's Kendall Cannon. And her serve is long. 8-6. With Morgan blasting game to serve. 54 aces for her this year. And is it in? It is in. Good shot by Megan DeVillis. Ah, she used the whole court on that one. That was a nice ball. The two teams have combined for four consecutive side outs. Let's see what happens when Sitchna serves. Etzler to the middle of the floor for a point. Back and forth we go. Carly Launder had that ball get on her really quick right there. She didn't have a chance to get much up. Get her hands on it is all. Just Mia Kanapke will enter and serve. 27 aces for Mia. 554 assists, and there's another ace for her. Trying to even it up here in set three is, yep, that ball came off her hand oddly and ends up in the net. It's amazing, Mark, if you don't get that toss just right, you know, it comes off your hand a little different. Carly Launder serves. Kanapke sets. And Ligers has that kill. That was an awful nice dig by Miley Arnold there, even though she just to get her hands on the ball. 
10-9. Spencer Etzler will serve. 74 aces for Spencer on the season. Second team all Ohio is a sophomore. He's played that ball. And Kanapke sets Wendell, and it's blocked back on the side of Coldwater. Nope, oh, we got somebody in the net. Number seven is in the net. That would be Kenny Black. And we are tied at 10. Black free balls it over to a teammate, sets it up. Kanapke and then Ligers hits it off a blocker. Nope, no block, no block. Just hit it out of bounds. I thought it changed direction oddly, but apparently not. She must have just mishit that ball yes. because it was going an awful spin and out of bounds. 11-10, Colts. And then Wendell ties it up for the Cavaliers. Think in set three, both teams have started to settle down a little bit. Here's Abigail Schwederman in to serve her first appearance today. She has 10 aces on the season, does the junior. Black hits its block. No. Wendell hits the ball to Norman. Then Ligers finds the middle of the floor. And Ligers puts her team up one. The Sweetman will serve again. Good serve. That ball is blocked. Good block by Ligers. 13-11. Getting those touches on the ball starting to make a little bit of a difference now. Sweeterman served a couple of points since she entered. That point will go to Kendall Cannon. Biggest lead in this set, Meadowbrook led 6-2. Coldwater's biggest lead was at 13-11 just a moment ago. Back set. Ligers, but it's Black. That was Cammy Black got it. Just a little bit too far of a back set. He'll let the blockers get outside and uh, stuff it back in uh, Jen Ligers' face. Jeffrey serves. Nice pass. Here's the set. Keep it alive, and Spencer Etzler hits it over. And, oh, they keep a lot. Good job by Meadowbrook. Carly Launders made a good effort on that ball, keeping it in play. Ligers tips it, but that's played by Jeffries. Black hits that. Wendell hit that ball. Good play by Jeffries. Been a long point. Another good play, but not good enough. Blaston game gets that point. Setters deciding to dump the ball at inopportune times sometimes. Gonna have to be free balled over. See what Coldwater does with this. Liger sets. Blasting game hits, but it's blocked. Blasting got a hand on that one. Back set wrist Miller, and she left it on her side of the net. We're tied at 14. There's Cammy Black. Flashing game went long with it. One of the few errors that she has made in net play today. I think Mark, if Coldwater wants to run that middle, they've got to get the sets a little quicker. Good play that time by Jeffrey. She's made a couple of digs here that are pretty special. And Wendell hits it off two players, including Black, and we're tied at 15. And uh, each team has called one timeout in this set. 
See our camera person made a good effort at that ball back there. Actually, that's incorrect. They just changed it on the scoreboard. Neither team has called a timeout. I didn't think so. Etzler got it in. Spencer Etzler put it in the corner. Her team leads 16-15. Here's Madison Wendell. Liger's got to that one, but overpass, and then it's hit out. Who hit it? Off a of, off a of Cammy Black. 17-15. Cole Water. Coach Zender looking at the score table. How many timeouts do I have left? Wendell. Nice swing by Carly Launder. And what are we going to get? Illegal contact. Makes it 17-16, Cavs. It's turning into quite a set here. Let's go! Cannon serves. Ligers will set. Blasting game out of the middle. Rissmiller. That's blocked, but out of bounds. 18-16, Cavs. Riley Rissmiller finally got into the net, got the ball in there, off the high hands into the block and out. Coldwater is never led by more than two in this set. The blasting game serve. And it's hit out of bounds. And now Coldwater has a three point lead, hence the timeout by Kelly Zender. It's 1916 Cavaliers. You're watching High School Turner Volleyball on WOSN. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewers supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com and click Donate. And Mark, just looking at stats, I see both teams hitting percentages. Uh, Meadowbrook hitting uh, 319, where Coldwater's hitting 284, but those are still both pretty good averages, so uh, that's why this match is so close. Ligers played that hit by Sitchna. And then Ligers hits that ball. Should be black from behind a 10-foot line. And Etzler hits it off of black with 2016 Cavs. I think if they want to run that back row attack, they got to get uh, Cammy Black in closer to the three-meter line before they set her there. Last in game serve again. That ball is blocked by Clooney. And then hit for a point by Carly Launder. That was a nice shot by Carly Launder. Got it over the blocker and inside the back line. This will be serviced by, looks like we got Sitchna back here, Taylor. 5'10 to Junior. Clooney just has to free ball it over and see what they do with it. That's Black. There's Clooney at the net. She and Etzler were both there. I think Ella Jeffries kind of just give her hand away a little soon that time, and they got uh, Coldwater was able to get two blockers in the way. Mia Kanapke will enter to serve. And ace for Mia. Miley Arnold and Mylon Mylon Norman couldn't decide who was going to play that ball. You know, John. Every time I start to do a cold water match, I look on my score sheet and it says Mia Kanapke freshman, and I go, No, she's not. It's got to be something else. I look back all my other records. I look at the roster. I look at where did I miss my mistake? Because she certainly does not play like a freshman. I know we're 28 matches into it, but she has not played like a freshman all year. I tell you what, it's tough for a coach to turn your team's offense over to a freshman, but she's done a, a very nice job here. So uh, they're in good hands. And 
I'm sure maybe if she grows a couple inches and uh, when Jen Lugers graduates that she might be able to run the team all on her own. That's the kind of interesting the way they do. They rotate the two setters. Ligers, when she's in the front row, hits the ball. And then when she's in the back row, she sets. And Knapke comes in and uh, when Ligers in the front row. So they, they do kind of use that two setter type of thing. And they just don't put too much pressure, I guess, on Knapke by what they do. Uh, it's good to have a senior going back there it to is. set the ball and kind of calm things down. And if you're out there as a freshman looking to that opposite corner and seeing that senior there to calm you down a little bit. Here's Mia Kanapke to serve. She played that ball right there. Etzler just bounces it up in the air. And unable to play the ball. A really nice place ball. Carly Launder was coming up yeah. to play that ball again and saw nobody in the back corner, so she just shot it right back there. Wendell, Very smart play. Wendell tried to get to it and couldn't. It is 22-18. Set, Ligers. 23-18. Coldwater, two points away from taking a two set to one lead. The winner gets Lake Catholic at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Ace. 24-18. There again, we had Miley and Mila. Mila getting in the way there. Spencer Etzler floats it to the middle. And they go to Camby Black. Let's see what Coldwater does. They go to Ligers, and Ligers puts it away off the assist from Mia Kanapke, and Coldwater will take set three and a two set to one lead. 25-18 in this one. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is provided by Loudex Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or in Van Wert or online at loudex.com. Coldwater taking a 25 to 18 set, and that makes them up two sets to one. John, stat numbers. Meadowbrook spreading their, uh, they're spreading their kills out now. They've got one with five, one with six, and another with eight for uh, 30 total on those, not just those three, but total. Um, Coldwater is basically going to the same two. Morgan Blazing game, Madison Wendell have 10 and 11 respectively. Um, no, no setting errors for uh, Meadowbrook, which is outstanding. She's got 25 assists already. Coldwater's uh, spreading their assists out between their two setters with 14 and 18. So the difference in there, Meadowbrook spreading out their kills, Coldwater spreading out their assists. We're headed to set four. Meadowbrook serves first, and Ligers gets a point. Not only would she have gotten a point, but somebody wearing a brown uniform was in the net for the first time today. Number four. That would be Jeffries. So that means Coldwater actually scored the first point. Etzler serves. Clooney blocked that one over and got a point for her efforts. There we go. 2-0 Coldwater. They trailed a nine to six in the opening set and came back and won a 25-18 and they lead 2-0 in this set. Black free balls it over to a teammate. And then getting it in is Wendell. There we go, a little quicker, a little quicker offense coming out of the middle from Coldwater there. Maybe Coach Etzler decided that that's the way to go instead of just the big high ball. Good start for the Cavaliers in this set. <laughs> Jeffries will set Black, and Cammy Black puts it off to Spencer Etzler for the first point by the Colts in this set. That's where you want Cammy Black to hit yeah. the ball now. You don't want her free ball on that ball underhand, yeah. so you want to hit him overhand. Set. Ligers tips it, and <laughs> well, what do you call a pancake when it's in the pan too long? An overdone pancake? Well, whatever. Well, really yeah. good effort, but it's laid on the back of her hand there, and 
Obviously, you know, the point went the other way. I've been doing this a long time. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen a ball just lay like that and kind of walk up the side of your arm. Here's Sweeterman in the serve. She had a good run in the last set. That's block, ball's blocked by Wendell off the hit by Cammie Black. She was a little under, off balance when she hit it. Where was Wendell? Yeah, that was, I think the ball was a little over uh, Cammie Black's head, so she didn't get a real good swing at it. Sweeterman served it again. Here's Wendell again, and yet another point. Wendell, go. 13th kill for her today. 6-1, Meadowbrook timeout. Timeout WSN. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The free yeah. WSN app, Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WOSN. Thought that was a good timeout, John? Kelly Zender made a nice timeout there. Her team was just slipping a little bit instead of letting the game get away. Very positive way she handled her girls on the sidelines, sent them back out on the court. I think there's going to be a good thing happening here for the Meadowbrook Colts. Meadowbrook is down five here early in the set four at 6-1. And here's that serve again by Abigail Schwederman. Set. Ligers. And we got somebody wearing a brown shirt and a net again. This time it's number 10, and that would be Kendall Cannon. I miss not being able to see both officials. Uh, Schwederman served. Missed. Good run for her, but... That point will go to Meadowbrook at 7-2. Two football games on Friday on WOSN, five on Saturday and Sunday. Matches are football games that are played on Saturday night. Ligers going down to her knees was Launder to get it. Sits to hit that ball. And then Wendell gets it blocked by Black. And Etzler just puts it over the net. Good defensive scheme. And there's Cammie Black, and she hits the ball through the block, through the dig by Spencer Etzler. Make it 7-3. Ella Jeffries will serve. And Wendell hits it right to the libero. Miley Arnold pushed Ooh. over. And killed by blasting game right out of the middle. Morgan's had a really nice game. Here's Riley Rissmiller in. 6'5", going to Dayton to play basketball in the front row. And through the block, a point for Cammie Black. That nice long yeti from the US, uh, OHS double A something beside you is a UD person. Yeah, well, not sure how she got into another center here, but. <laughs> Set, blasting game hits. Wow, Morgan blasting game. You know, if you ever want to wonder how good the Mid uh, West LA conference, conference Volleyball is, she's a second team all-conference player. Yeah. I'd like to see the second team play the first oh, team. And you know what? what it's like. That would be something, wouldn't it? Here's Wendell to serve. And in, out. Taylor okay. Sitchna missed the sideline. We got one in, one out, so yep. we got an out. That's why we collect yep. all our information. Wendell again, her team is up seven. Set. This will be bumped up in the air for Etzler, and good hit by her. And in a block, there's Miss Miller got it. Takes that 6-5 frame and goes up in the air and sends it back. I wish I was 6-5, Mark. You know, a long time ago, before a couple knee surgeries and some back compression, I was. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a quote a long time ago. And that ball is hit. No, it's touched. Point. Colts. 
Cuts the lead to seven. Kendall Cannon. Spencer Etzler hits at the cannon. That's what makes the pass, and blasting game hit it long. 11-5. You know, Mark, sometimes I think uh, with these big scoreboards hanging down that nobody had ever hit that, but they've come close a couple times today. Etzler hits, and that will be a point, Spencer Etzler. If it does hit it, John, the rule's the same as if it's a ceiling in a, a normal gym? That is, that is. If it's on your side with uh, hits available, go ahead and keep playing. It cannot hit it and go over, however. Exactly. Here, blasting game to serve. Serve for Morgan. Ligers will set. And that kill goes to Riley Rissmiller. 13-5. You know, Mark, they're getting the 13, ball six, to uh, Riss Miller in a good position sometimes. You know, but when they do get her in that position, she can really perform. It's 13-6. That's blocked by Etzler and Clooney, and it hit long on the rebound. It's 14-6. Coldwater stepping up their blocking game. Back set. There's your kick, John. We've been waiting all year to see oh, one like that. Very good. That's legal. Very good. Etzler off a block. And then Rissmiller's at the net to put it away. I tell you what, I'm kind of I'm not rooting for anybody, but it's nice to see when they get a kick save like that that <laughs> they get the point too. That effort was outstanding. The, the ball can legally touch, what, any part of the body? Is that any correct? Any part of the body. Yeah. Some people don't know. That rule changed, what, a handful of years ago, I suppose? At least a handful. Yeah, something like that. Well, for the first time, John, I thought I saw a little bit of uh, maybe, I don't know what the term is, dejection, frustration, whatever it might be from Meadowbrook, that they just can't seem to score in this set, and I think it's kind of weighing on them, and hence the timeout by Kelly Zender. You know, it's so frustrating when you get a good attack and the ball's blocked right back at you. So, you know, it's they've Coldwater stepped up their blocking this set. And so when the ball keeps coming back at you, you get dejected a little bit and you hit the ball, you make errors that you didn't make in the first couple of sets. So Coldwater has scored eight of the last Let's ten go, go. points as they pop out of Nikki Etzler's huddle. Trying to join New Bremen as a MAC team playing in the state championship. New Bremen will play at 11 o'clock Saturday against Monroeville. <laughs> Blasting game serves. And the ball falls on. Oh, we got somebody in the net. Number three was in the net. Launder, 16-6. Blasting game again. That's blocked by Etzler and Clooney. This will be Wendell. Black hits that one from deep in the corner. Etzler. Oh, good play over there by Jeffries. And they keep it alive. It's the name of the game, Mark. And then Clooney scores in the middle. 17-6. Meadowbrook does not have a timeout remaining. They have to figure out a way to play through this. Sometimes you got to use a substitution more as a timeout, Mark. Good job by Meadowbrook just scrambling around to keep the ball alive. Blasting game will set. And Rissmiller gets another kill. There we go. Riley Rissmiller puts her team up 12. You can teach a lot of things, Mark. You can't teach 6-5, though, so that's a good person to have in your front row. Ball crawls over the net. And then that kill attempt, and we'll go to the Vilvis. And that will break a string of seven consecutive points for the Cavaliers. That was a nice offense run there by Meadowbrook. Good pass up there to the setter, and uh, Ella Jeffries set a little quicker ball out to the outside. 
That will make it 18-7, and a lengthy serve will make it 19-7. Here comes Mila Norman in. Also in will be Mia Kanapke. Ball could have been a little long. Kanapke sets, Ligers kills. They're just playing really well right now, John. They've got them, uh, Meadowbrook back on their heels yep. there, so they can't get back in their base positions enough to play. Once they get it back over even, they can put it away. That ball was blocked by Clooney, 21-7. You know, some, sometimes coaches are used to using the same sub pattern that when they get out of it like this, they, they don't know how to sub. That ball is blocked. Is it in? Blocked it's out. out. <laughs> Makes it 21-8 as Carly Launder will serve. Jenna Ligers and it hit in. The ball was blocked and fell in. Well, I thought for sure that was going out, but it dropped down in. Good call by our LJ1. Agreed. 21-9 with Wander to serve again. Good pass. Kanapke sets, and this time we get number four Jeffries in the net. 22-9. Too bad she was in the net there. That was a night takes a kill away yeah, from does. one of the girls from Coldwater. Yeah. Spencer Etzler will serve. There's Cammie Black. Senior not wanting to play her final match of her high school career. Makes it 22-10. 11 kills for Cammie today. Wendell off a block that will go out of bounds. Here's Coldwater now, two points away from going to a state final match. The last time they were in the state finals was 2017. They played fellow Max School Versailles to five sets before Versailles could win. Black hits it. Kanapke set. Wendell off a block. And then it'll go out of bounds on the effort by Schwederman. Little overpass off the block by Meadowbrook. They score a point. And here comes Taylor Sitchna in, and Jeffries will serve. Wendell, that's blocked. Looked like Kendall Cannon got it. 23-11. Keep fighting. She's trying to stay alive. Coldwater trying to score two and blasting game. Got it right on the end line. Here's Coldwater. A point away from making the state finals. Coach Kelly's in there throwing her head back thinking, can't we get a break? And Jenna Ligers will serve. Ball tipped in the middle of the floor, the point for Cammy Black. 24-13. Black to serve. Coldwater, glad to see her go to the back row. Yeah. All the Coldwater fans up on their feet, wait, waiting for one more point. Set. Block, Riss Miller. Coldwater lives to play another day. Very nice job and a very nice season by the Meadowbrook Colts. That they do. Coldwater takes the fourth set, 25-13. The sets went this way today. Coldwater won the opening set, 25-17. Meadowbrook won set two, 25-21. And then Coldwater, 25-18, 25-13. John, you mentioned Meadowbrook, the number seven team in the state. They will finish at 25 and three, and they're gonna graduate an All-Ohio player in Cammie Black and Ella Jeffries, an honorable mention player. 
but they've had a really fine season this year. A lot of tears by the girls, but there's no way they need to hang their head about anything. They played well, give Coldwater all they could handle. Coldwater's size, I think, got them a little bit at the end there with the blocking and the touching at the net. So the Coldwater Cavaliers have played 29 matches this year. They have won 25, and they want number 30 to be a state championship match. They will match up with Mentor Lake Catholic, a winner earlier today over Versailles. That will be at 1 o'clock on Saturday. They will join fellow Mac School New Bremen, who will play in the Division IV championship game against Monroeville here at 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. I want to thank our crew today. That's Lexi Waddle and Megan Sherrick here at the, at the uh, Nutter Center. Megan will take this back to the station and edit it together. I want to thank Lodix Jewelry for being our scoreboard sponsor. John, thank you. It's been a good volleyball season for all of us at WSM. We appreciate what you and Chris have done for everything that we have covered this year. But the Coldwater Cavaliers will move on, and they will play in a state championship match on Saturday. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.